Hello everybody, welcome into Rock Painting 101. I am still on my rainbow kick. I'm telling you guys, I just love doing things with rainbows. I've started this one today with just a black base coat on it because I really want this to kind of pop and I'm gonna do kind of almost like a celestial look to it. I know rainbows probably aren't in outer space, but I wanted to do rainbows and stars. So I wanna do this really fun, almost wavy style rainbow. We're gonna start here at the base and I'm gonna kind of wave it up and maybe have it loop back down and around and kind of disappear into um, the distance, I guess you could say. So I'm just gonna start with my red. Actually, no, I take that back. I'm gonna start with my green. Um, I'm gonna start with one of the middle colors because to me, it'll be easier to build off to both sides evenly if I start with my middle color. Now I'm just gonna do a single stripe and I want to kind of wave it up a little bit, back a little bit to the center, and then it's gonna kind of loop. It will get a little flat probably there and end up coming behind. And I'm just gonna give it a destination over here just so as I build up, I can create the look that I'm looking for. So I've got that one, I'm gonna go right next to it, leaving a little bit of space at the base because we're gonna thicken up the base a little bit. So I'm gonna start further away from it. And I'm gonna slowly kind of get closer and closer. Like so. And we're gonna have it flip when it twists there. And then it's gonna come out here, just like that. So I'm gonna lay down all six of my colors in this same fashion. Um, and I will kind of speed this part of the video up. You'll be able to see what I'm doing, but you won't have to watch the length of it. Okay, now obviously some colors go on thicker um, than others. I, I don't know if I wanna say thicker, but they're less opaque. Um, I am gonna doodle my pen off. I might be pulling up a little bit of black. I did just base coat this one just a little bit ago. I am gonna start with those colors getting down their first coat so that they can start drying faster. So I want this to start all the way at the tip and we're gonna thicken up each line at the base. And I might be pulling a little bit of that black in. As you can see, you can doodle it off to kind of clean your tip. But I'm gonna put another coat over this as well, so not too overly worried about it at the time. And we're just gonna get thinner and thinner as we get up to the top here. Go ahead and doodle that off. And I'm just gonna work on this base section and then we'll start to do the other parts and kind of pull it all together again. All right, so you get the gist of this. I'm gonna finish doing this with each of the colors just in the center section and then we'll be back. Okay, now that I have that first coat down and I have my thickness set how I want it to be, I'm gonna do this swirl here. So I've got the red, just kind of do, 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 figure out where you think it's gonna pop out. And I'm gonna have it go off the rock, just like that, okay? I'm gonna do that with each of the colors as well. Um, that's pretty simple, just kind of eyeball through once you get one or two going it's pretty easy to kind of get the rest of them um, you're just going to be swinging each of these colors around so i'm going to finish wrapping these last two colors around i'm going to set this off to the side and really let this first coat of colors dry i want them nice and dry so i can come back with the second coat and they will really pop off the rock a lot more 
uh, with the second coat uh, once it's nice and dry. So we're gonna we're gonna take a little break, and I will be back when I'm finishing up my second coat. All right, I'm finishing up my uh, second coat here. And you can see the colors just pop so much more. Just make sure you let it dry really well in between. Um, and also just don't press super hard. If you start pressing really hard with your paint pens, you'll end up taking up the color that's underneath. So we've kind of got it kind of swirling, tucking back and hiding away in the distance there. So you could add some fun extra designs on here. I do have my my smaller uh, 1M pens over here, and I'm gonna do just a few little swirls kind of coming off the edge of some of my outer colors here. Um, my daughter told me where she thinks I got the idea for this now. Um, when we visit Grandma and Grandpa, we play the original Mario Kart. She said this reminded her of the Rainbow Road level. And maybe that's where I got the idea that you could have rainbow and stars. That one kind of happens out in outer space. So we're just going to add a few little sweet little spots on here. I'm going to do on the purple and a few on the red. Just to kind of bring the color out a little bit. And this is just whimsical and fun anyways. There's no rules to this. Now as you look at it dead forward, you can see there's a couple areas where it looks a little dark still because there's little pits in the rock. So I'm gonna go back with my 1M as well and just really get into, sorry, right into those little spots with some paint like that. You almost just kinda of wanna fill the hole there with some paint. You want to press hard, you kinda of just dot, dot, dot in the same spot. Also clean up your edges if you've got a few little edge spots that you want to clean up. But just along that yellow and orange, it really stood out. Those little holes that were still pretty dark. So there we go. Looks a little bit better now. All right. So the last thing that I want to do on this rock is, like I said before, I want to add stars. I want this to be an outer space rainbow. So I've got my white 1M here, and I still draw stars like the classic star that we learned how to draw stars when we were little. And that's just, you know, your standard star. Also brings a very white light to the rock since it's on a black rock. There we go. So I'm just going to add a few of these around. And, and if you mess up, like I totally messed up on that one, it's okay because I can go back with my black 1M and kind of fix that point there. You can also add just a few, you know, tiny little stars. You can make them kind of in shapes and patterns. You can have them go on top of your rainbow. Have them coming from the stars. Like I said, really anything you want to do, you can do here. Okay, I'm finishing up my last star over here. And I just wanted to show you, that's where that bend was. I wasn't 100% in love with the bend, like how it transitioned. So, a very good way to fix it. Put a little star on there. So I think I'm gonna call this one good. I did go back in and touch up that one over here with the black. Um, I might need one more layer on this little guy down here. But other than that, we're going to call this one done. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure that you subscribe to Rock Painting 101 here on YouTube for more tutorials. And I appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.